Hello, and um, welcome to the next episode of the Parlour Guitar Design and Construction. And what I want to do in this video is really talk you through the soundboard, my rationale behind the, 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 the bracing pattern, etc. Um, the soundboard, obviously, the most important part of the guitar. So here we have the soundboard, Western Red Cedar, just under three millimeters in thickness. You can see the, the bracing pattern. I always use um, Sitka spruce um, as bracing, no matter what the soundboard material is. Uh, Sitka has the best strength to weight ratio of any wood. Um, and essentially what that means is that you can use less of it for the same um, amount, of, uh, amount of strength. What I want to talk to you about first, however, is the bridge plate. The bridge plate um, is a piece of maple. Now, the function of the bridge plate is to stop the area underneath the bridge distorting. Um, <coughs> the ebony or rosewood bridge, that's not going to distort with the tension of the strings, but the soundboard can. So if the soundboard distorts and the bridge doesn't, you run the risk of the soundboard pulling away from the bridge. And really what this plate does, it offers a little bit of stability um, underneath, uh, underneath, the, underneath the bridge where there's a lot of tension on the soundboard. Also, of course, you're going to drill a series of holes here to allow the strings to come through and um, the ball ends, if, the, if this plate wasn't here, they would pull straight through the cedar. Um, and into the bridge. And of course, once they're jammed in, you never get them back out again. So you need to have a hard wood so that the ball ends have got um, something to, uh, to, 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 re to resist them, to resist them pulling into, into, into the soundboard. Um, some makers use rosewood. I, however, prefer to use maple because I just think it's that um, wee bit lighter. And again, if you remember from the, from, from the rosette video, we've got this thin veneer here of, um, of, of maple and that's just reinforcing the area where the rosette is. Once the rosette's like, um, set in, there's only about a, a millimetre and a half of, uh, of soundboard there, so it does need a little bit of support. So the bridge is going to be sitting in this area and of course you've got the X bracing. The X bracing very important structurally, obviously a lot of tension in, in the steel strings. So we've got the X bracing and I always try to get the X as wide as possible so it's just supporting the ends of the, the bridge. And of course, not only is it important structurally, I also feel that the X helps transmit the sound or the vibrations from the bridge um, throughout the soundboard. Um, sound travels th along the grain of the wood approximately four times faster than it does across the grain of the wood. So in my mind, the X braces, as well as being a structural member, also help to transmit the sound across, uh, across the whole board. And a similar thing with these two, two braces here. Um, they're supporting the bridge right at the very tip, stopping the sound ball from um, st stopping the bridge from tipping forward too much, but also transmitting vibrations across this portion of the soundboard. Um, each one of these braces is let into the X brace. There's a tiny notch in the X brace, so these actually go, these pieces actually go into the brace. And when you think about it on here, each brace is stuck to at least one other brace, the soundboard, and then eventually into the linings. So, it's make, so I'm, I'm making really quite a rigid structure, a rigid framework, um, and that rigid framework is allowing the guitar to be supported, but the, but the membrane of the, the soundboard um, to vibrate. This bar here, obviously here, we're not symmetrical. This one, I think, is crucial to the tone of the instrument. What this one is doing is it's tightening up the treble side. 
and that's a, that's 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 a, a method that I use to balance the response of the guitar. I like to have the treble side of the soundboard much tighter um, than the, the, the bass side. And when you tap the front, I can hear a much higher note on this side than I can on the bass side. Around the sound hole here, these three are really structural. What you've got to remember is the neck is going off in this direction, the bridge is here, you, you put in tension on it and the whole thing really wants to collapse in on itself. Um, and then what you do is you put this dirty great hole in the middle of it all, um, so you've got to stop the guitar disappearing into the sound hole. So these three braces here are re reinforcing that area and this big boy here, that's supporting the fingerboard. Again, you've got to think that the fingerboard is pushing against this, 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 um, this brace. So a nice big brace there to support the, the fingerboard. And then <coughs> this long, thin brace here, really what, that, what that's doing is giving um, some stability in this area. Um, as I'm sure most guitar players are aware, fingerboards do tend to shrink. You can feel the frets jut out after a while. And what you don't want is the fingerboard uh, shrinking where it's glued onto the cedar, the cedar itself not shrinking, and causing the, 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 the soundboard to split. So this kind of long flat brace is really just offering some stability to that area where the fingerboard is, is glued. And of course the end block, um, the one I, I spoke about in the, in the rim video, that takes up the remainder of that space. Each one of these braces will go into little notches in the linings, um, so, so the whole thing is really quite, um, quite rigid. So that's the soundboard. Um, that will be that will be glued on to the, the the rim of the instrument next week sometime, and in a few months or so, um, the guitar will be ready to play, and you'll be able to see whether or not my theories here um, play out. So um, thank you for joining me again in this video, and um, I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Bye bye.